The Whispering Statue In the quaint town of Fenimore, there was a statue feared by all. The Whispering Statue. It stood in the town square, a towering, ominous figure, sculpted to resemble an ancient hooded monk, his face concealed, except for an insidious grin that made people shiver. They said the statue was cursed, that anyone who heard its whispers would meet an ill fate. People avoided it after dark, scurrying past it with their heads bowed during the day. However, curiosity is a peculiar thing, often igniting an irresistible spark in the most fearful hearts. One sultry summer night, a young and audacious boy named Ethan decided to uncover the truth. He was new to Fenimore, indifferent to the town's lore. After the townsfolk had retired to their homes, Ethan approached the statue, his heart pounding but determined. Bathed in the cold, silvery light of the moon, the statue seemed even more menacing. Ethan steeled his nerves and inched closer, squinting to see the face beneath the hood. Suddenly he heard a faint whisper, like a hushed breeze. Curiosity replaced fear as he leaned in closer. The whispers grew louder, distinct, forming words of an ancient language unknown to Ethan. He felt a cold chill run down his spine, but he was too engrossed to step back. Soon, he started seeing visions, visions of a distant past, a tumultuous sea, a desolate island, a monastic order worshipping a dark deity, the statue's origin. The monk it was modeled after had been a sinister figure, a fanatic who brought ruin to the island, leaving it desolate and lifeless. As the chilling tale unfolded, Ethan felt his energy draining. The whispering grew harsher, and the visions turned darker. The island now soaked in blood, the skies ablaze, the sea swallowing everything. He tried to break away, but an invisible force held him, the whispers now echoing in his head, louder and more terrifying. Ethan's strength waned, and he fell to his knees, the statue's grin the last thing he saw before his world went black. The next morning, the townsfolk found him unconscious at the statue's base. When he woke up days later, Ethan had aged mysteriously. His hair was white, his skin lined with wrinkles, and his eyes held a haunted look. He couldn't remember anything, but he'd involuntarily whisper ancient words in his sleep. The statue's curse had taken hold. The tale of Ethan's fate served as a grim reminder of the whispering statue's sinister power and the curse it held. The statue continued to stand tall in the town square, an eerie silence around it, its whispers unheard, but its grim legend more formidable than ever.